Good morning guys, today we take the motorbike and ride two hours south to the beach town of Gokarna in the state of Karnataka. But while we go there, I also want to share with you how I have been feeling mentally, emotionally and I also want to talk about depression, anxiety and mental health issues. So in this vlog we're gonna do two things at the same time, explore Gokarna but also talk about mental health. So let's begin the road trip. So let's talk about mental health guys, one of the main issues in today's day and age. I want to talk about it today because if you watch my videos long enough, you know that I struggle with mental health before and I'm also struggling with mental health right now. Let's begin by sharing some statistics. 970 million people around the world struggle with some form of mental illness. 14.3% of deaths worldwide or approximately 8 million people die each year due to mental disorders and suicide. Depression affects over 300 million people worldwide and people with anxiety disorders grew from 298 million to 374 million which is about a 25% increase. In my case the two main mental issues that I'm struggling with are anxiety in particular social anxiety which is with me pretty much all the time and has been with me many many years and the second one is depression and i've been struggling with depression for the past seven months now it started in march 2023 when i went to the philippines and now that is november i'm starting to finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and later in this video i also want to share with you what i think is helping me to get out of depression and these mental issues Man, the guy didn't see the cow and just hit it and crashed the motorbike. Cows, they're holy here, but they're also very dangerous because they just walk around the streets. I love Karvar. I have no idea where I am. Somewhere in Karnataka. This is how the Indian bakeries look like. Can I get uh, two of these? Two cookies from the bakery and I ordered chai. Thank you. Nice. All right, guys, I stop here on my way to Gokarna. I'm already in the state of Karnataka, but I still have like one hour and a half to go. But let's start with the first takeaway about my mental health. Depression is a bitch because sometimes you don't really see it from the outside. But the reality is that for the past seven months, I was actually depressed but I was functional. I was still able to travel. I was still able to make videos from time to time. From the outside, you will still think that I have a dream lifestyle. I'm a YouTuber, I make video, I have fun, I travel the world, I do what I love. But the reality is that deep inside, I was struggling like big time with depression, anxiety, and a lot of negative thoughts. So I guess the takeaway here from my experience is just not to get fooled. Don't get fooled from what you see online, on YouTube on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, etc. Because that one is just the surface, it's just the tip of the iceberg. But you don't really know what is going on behind the scenes of that person, what challenges they have, what struggles, what issues. We also have to remember that everybody has issues, different issues in different ways. Some people have more, some people have less, but every single human being has problem in this life. And regarding the mental health issues, don't forget that there are millions and millions of people that struggle with it, but most of them, they don't show it publicly. Yes, sir. So, you better stop it. Huh? In India, it's very common to give the ride to people. They stop you on the street and they ask you to give you a ride. <laughs> Say hello, hello. Uh, Say hi, hello. Hi. <laughs> What's your, your name? Oh, Anapa. Anapa. Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. See you. You go here? Hmm. Ah, inside. Okay. I'm on. Cut. Hey, can I go? Oh, eat. Mm. You go eat. Ah, okay. Okay, bye bye. Sir, go Karna here. Go Karna. All the way. Left. Okay. Bye bye.
I came to Gokarna expecting it to be very similar to Goa, so like a beach destination. And of course it's famous for the beaches, but I was so surprised to see that this is such a religious place. Gokarna is a big pilgrimage destination for Hindus. There is a temple dedicated to Shiva and so many people come here to pray and you can just feel the vibe. It kind of reminds me of Pushkar in a way. And nearby there is also the Koti Tirtha, which is a temple tank where the devotees also wash inside the holy waters. Very, very fascinating place. Here we made it to Gokarna Beach, guys. One of the things that happened to me a few months ago, and it's a very common symptom of depression, is that I lost completely interest in life. I lost any desire, any passion. I didn't have energy at all. In fact, I spent most of my time in bed. I didn't even have the energy to get out of bed. And in my case, I was living constantly with a sense of emptiness. Nothing made sense. What is the point of living? You don't have any excitement for the future. You actually see everything negative, everything dark. You have a lot of of negative feelings constantly like all day long non-stop and people that struggle with depression they know exactly what I'm talking about and I want to share one thing that really helped me just one month ago when I was in that situation and it was just to get busy again to start doing something to have a focus to have a goal to have some reason some purpose to get you out of bed to do something for me I was lucky enough to be able to just book one-way ticket to India and that's when I really started to recover one step at a time I started to to make videos again at the beginning was extremely hard but then this is my thing you know making videos i really enjoy them they make me feel good i feel productive i also feel i contribute to society i create something for other people my videos for some of you are entertainment for some other of you they're just informational i show you different culture different places different way of living but making videos i'm realizing now that it's what really makes me feel alive again but most importantly they reconnect me to life they reconnect connect me to reality they reconnect me to people and so i don't get stuck in my mind i don't get stuck in my negative thoughts it's a very good way for me to get out of my mind but for someone else can be like taking care of an animal taking care of another human being can be volunteering can be exercising doing a sport or just doing something that you enjoy like a hobby like a passion can be something extremely small the important thing that i realize is that we need to do something we need to keep our mind busy and i did we can do something for the world for society for other people this step by step will make us feel better look at this there are puppies sleeping inside there so cute huh? <laughs> so cute <laughs> Those are the things that get you out of depression. <laughs> Amazing. They hungry? They want food? Food. Banana. Banana? Yeah. Ah, yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. How much for this? Uh, dozen sixty rupees. Huh? One dozen sixty rupees. Twelve, what? twelve. Twelve banana. Twelve banana. Sixty rupees. Twelve? Huh? Twelve banana. Twelve, yeah. Oh, no. I want to see how you do first. Ah, okay. okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enough. Enough. And while we go now to the famous Om Beach here in Gokarna, let's continue our conversation. Why mental illness is increasing? Some studies are revealing that our lifestyle is becoming very fast, very dynamic, especially with internet and social media, and it's very hard to keep up with the speed of our life. Also, they say that social media is playing a huge role in making us feel depressed, anxious, inferior to other people, worthless, have a sense of inferiority, and so many negative emotions. 
in our life. And then studies says that there are two other main issues and one is isolation and the second one is loneliness. They say we are living through an isolation and loneliness epidemic and internet and social media is amplifying all of this. All right, guys, we made it to Om Beach. And what I did in my life in order to get better, before I left Italy, I removed the social media from my phone. I removed Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. The only thing I still use is YouTube. And to be honest, I'm addicted to YouTube. So that's another problem. But already by stop watching the life of other people, Instagram, the stories, the reels, I started to feel so much better because I stopped comparing myself to others. I stopped to see how beautiful the life of other people was. And I can definitely tell you that I saw a huge benefit in my life and also for my mental health. But another huge reason is the lifestyle. Since I came to India, in particular, since I came to Goa, I started to have a very healthy lifestyle. I walk every morning on the beach, I swim every day, I get a lot of sunlight, I move my body and then I have my motorbike and I take motorbike trips which also makes me feel very happy. I also talk to people daily, even though I struggle with social anxiety, in India it's very easy to interact with people on a daily basis. So all those things also play a huge role in making me feel better. Well, I have to say that on beach is extremely quiet. This is a spinach and mushroom burger. So the viewpoint here? Yeah, I guess continue straight. Yeah, okay. Is it here? I'm not so sure. Oh my god! There is a cow here, two. Man, those cows are everywhere here. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. I should continue my hike. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, another one there. Man, what a nice view. And it's called Om Beach because the shape of those two beaches, it's the same shape of the Om, so the symbol of the Om. I'm gonna actually try to fly the drone now so we can see better. I don't know if it's legal to fly the drone, but we can try. <laughs> and guys, the final point and takeaway is to actually get help, get support. For me, for example, it's therapy. I do therapy almost every week and I've been doing therapy for years and it's really helping me a lot to stay grounded, to stay connected to myself, not to run away, not to escape or not to go also too down into depression, into too much darkness. So therapy has been a huge help for me, but can be also talking to a friend, talking to a family member. Because many times when we struggle with depression, anxiety, and mental issues, we tend to be ashamed of it. So we tend to hide it, to just keep it for ourselves. And this is the worst thing that we can do. It's so important to seek for help, to share it, because there are actually so many people that have the same issues as us so we are not alone there there are like millions of people in the world struggling with mental health so there is nothing wrong to talk about it to share and I also hope that by making this video I show you that there is nothing wrong to talk about it it's okay to be open it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to show our weak side our fragile side and it's so so important to ask for help ask for support because to do it on our own can be extremely hard and extremely challenging and sometimes we just need other people and professionals to actually Actually help us and support us. All right, let's continue this uh, hike and see if we can find the viewpoint. Oh, nice! Look at this viewpoint, man. Super nice. Oh, there is someone there. Wow, and here you can already see the shape of the Om Beach, much clearer.
All right, guys, with this uh, big rain here in Gokarna, I'm going to end the video here. I still have to go back to Palolem, so it's gonna be like two, three hours journey. I hope the rain is gonna stop soon. But I hope you enjoy this road trip here to Gokarna. I hope you enjoy Gokarna, Om Beach also, which is very nice. And I also hope that you enjoy me sharing my mental health journey. If you're struggling like me with depression, anxiety or other mental illness, know that you're not alone. I really feel for you and I know how it is and that it's not easy at all. But I also hope that by sharing my insight, my takeaways, you realize that basically we are all on the same boat. <laughs> so it's important to remember that we are not alone and there are millions and millions of people struggling with this. So that's it. I'm going to sign off. A uh, big hug from uh, Gokarna. Bye-bye. And wish me luck on my way back to Goa. Alright, bye-bye.